Okay, here we see a battery connected to the collector and emitter of our transistor. Now, if we take a look at here, there will be no flow of current since one of the PN junctions will be reverse biased even if we interchange the connection of our battery. That's why there is a need for another circuit in our base and emitter terminals. Okay? We have this battery and resistor connected to the base and emitter, okay? which allows the emission of electrons towards the base. So, i-inject niya ngayon yung electrons. And these electrons, part of that, a very minimal number, will be attracted to the positive terminal of our first battery. Okay? Will be attracted, so there will be minimal amount of current. But, majority of the electrons will be collected by the collector terminal and will be attracted to the positive terminal of our second battery. And that's the time there will be flow of electrons, okay? From emitter, base, then collector. And there's amplification factor as we can observe here, okay? Collector current, okay, makes the load brighter, emit more light compared to the uh, bulb on the base, okay? And beta is our amplification factor. Basically, that means that if beta is 100, meaning... Our collector current is 100 times that of the base current. This is when okay, we interconnect the actual transistor.